like to call in the public session. Uh, we have one speaker signed up to speak. I just ask that you state your name and address and uh, keep your comments to five minutes or less. So we have one speaker. Uh, just step up to the podium, please. Tim Bonner. Timothy Bonner, PC Masters Tech Repair here in the city. 104 West Utica, home address is 74 West Cayuga. Information is knowledge, and knowledge is power. Over the past couple of weeks, there has been some murmur about some things that have been happening within the city. I've done some foils, and what I'm getting back, the latest one which brought me here, is no records over a course of 18 months. As a person who believes that information is knowledge and knowledge is power, for a city like a Oswego, how in 18 months is there not one single email, transcript, text message, voice recording, anything about the website that was built or put up back in January of 2016? So that's really when it all started for me, is because when I first foiled the PTAB committee, I didn't get a whole lot. Actually, I got 49 pages of the foil, the last foil that I did against Justin Rudrick. I got one page of an email for 18 months that says no records. So I guess the reasoning why I'm here is to one to ask the council, are you above the law? Are you above state and federal law? I have the law in the folders and I can gladly read it, but I'm pretty sure it'll take over five minutes. I will continue foiling, but now the council people and Justin and the mayor have a face to put with the foils. Shall we play a game? I'd like to call the meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk, please call the roll. Here. 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 Thank you. Uh, I don't have anything under the mayor's report. Uh, I'll, I'll speak to, I guess, the concern of the one public speaker we had, only because we take, uh, you know, I contend we've had the most transparent administration in the city of Oswego in a long time, and to suggest that that's not the case is uh, odd. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know what the particular speaker is after, but uh, the resolution awarding the website to step one is here in front of me. He should have received this. I assume he uh, did. It says step one creative, a local full service advertising agency with over 20 years of experience has submitted a proposal to partner with the city of Oswego on the design development and maintenance of a multi-purpose website for the city. The total cost is $24,500 for the newly redesigned multi-purpose website for the city of Oswego. Cost is broken into two components, $22,500 for website design, $2,000 for photography and video rights. There's an annual fee uh, for license and web hosting service of $780. First year, the cost is $25,280 and the following year is $780 licensing fee. And finally, the awarding of this proposal is consistent with the City of Oswego's procurement, procurement policy. And the rest just talks about the uh, reason why we felt a new website was necessary. So this is public. You can boil for it and receive it any time. I don't know what uh, this was documented in the press when we went to do it back in January. So I don't know what more is out there in question. Uh, anything else from the council? Um, I'd just like to publicly thank once again, there was a variety of folks in the room that were part of the special, special session that we had at 6 p.m. Again, thank you to the public for being there. Thank you to our 
uh, SUNY Oswego colleagues uh, for coming here tonight. I thought it was a great conversation and a, a good starting point. And I'd like to thank Mr. Bonning as well. You did a fantastic job setting up the room and, and giving us the proper equipment uh, that we needed. To. So thank you all, and I hope that it's the, the first of many, many conversations. To come. Thank you, Mayor. I just uh, would like to share a little uh, good news. Uh, I know uh, all the council knows this, and as well as the mayor, but I thought it was uh, important to share this with the public. It seems in the last several years, uh, uh, when uh, this council uh, has ever talked about uh, water and sewer, it's usually in a negative way. And here's a little bit of uh, good news when it uh, comes to that topic. Uh, uh, on February 23rd of this year, uh, New York State Department of Environmental Conservation inspected both the east side and the west side water treatment plants, and uh, I'm glad to announce that uh, both facilities passed with, a fly, with flying colors. And uh, I'd like to commend the uh, employees of uh, both facilities, as well as uh, the Camden Group uh, employees, uh, uh, Carrie Hallinan and um, Ken uh, Schreiber, what his name is? Schreiber, uh, who managed the facility uh, under contract with the city under the Camden Group. Uh, uh, I've mentioned before that uh, a number of uh, us counselors and the mayor took a tour of the facility, and uh, it's not magic what they do there. It's, uh, it's technology, hard work, and perseverance to make sure that every time uh, you turn the faucet on, you get good, clean water, and that's the treatment part. Uh, and then when you flush the toilet, it goes somewhere, and it gets processed the way it should be before it goes into the lake. So, uh, I think, like I said, it's, it's a um, part of city government that, that probably doesn't get enough credit, but uh, I think in this case uh, we should shine a light and, and, uh, and say, job well done. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Councilor Van Buren. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to extend a thank you to the Land Bank. Uh, this past week they took down a house in my ward. It's been a problem property for a number of years. Went through uh, several ups and downs while it was uh, lost to an estate. And if anybody knows anything about that, dealing with the heirs and trying to get that taken care of in a timely fashion is no uh, small feat. So the land bank taking it down was, uh, was a fantastic help to us. The neighbors were super excited. Uh, I have another property in the ward that I believe is being rehabbed by the land bank, so I'm excited to see what they do with that. And I just wanted to thank the county, Shane Broadwell, Paul Stewart, and some of the other members that were there to help. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Seeing none, will clerk please call resolution 76. Councillor Van Buren, Councillor McLaughlin. Comments? Clerk please call the roll. Yes. 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 Clerk, please call resolution 77. Councillor Emmons. Councillor Walker. Any comments? Councillor Van Buren. Uh, I just wanted to amend this to remove myself from the uh, appointment block. Any other comments? Councillor McLaughlin. I also would like to amend it to remove myself. Call the roll to amend. Second. Second. Councilor Walker. Yes, to amend. 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 Yes. Yes, to amend. Please call the resolution as amended. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 78. Yes. 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 Councillor McLaughlin, any comments? Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Clerk, please call resolution 79. Councillor Reynolds, Councillor Evans, any comments? Or please call the roll. Yes. 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 Or please call resolution 80. Councillor McLaughlin, Councillor Van Buren, any comments? Or please call the roll. Yes. 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 Or please call resolution 81. <coughs> Councillor Gozik, Councillor Walker. Any comments? Or please call the roll. Yes. 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 Or please call resolution 82. Councillor Walker, Councillor Gozik. Any comments? Councillor Gozik. Um, thank you, man. Yeah, I just wanted to say um, we worked on this this week. Um, I'd worked last summer with uh, Attorney Reynolds. Um, looking at some of the regulations um, in order to bring vending um, in a responsible way to a swig all, uh, hopefully um, so that um, when we bring it back here, you know, try to level the playing field a little bit, looking at like some of the brick and mortar establishments that are um, you know, in competition with the vendors. Some of the things in here I think are gonna help bring vending here in a way um, that's not gonna hinder or hurt um, businesses that are already well established here. And uh, I want to thank, you know, we have Council Walker, um, Attorney Reynolds, myself, um, Arthur Webb, who owns one of the local um, vending companies, um, came in to try to hammer this out and uh, be able to get this through in time so that we could actually see vending companies for the, for the summer. So um, I'd like, if I don't know if any of the counselors have any more input, but we did, you know, it was only a week uh, trying to refine this. <laughs> so if there's any more input, I think it would be valuable. Um, but I think by and large, um, to have these regulations in place, you know, um, I think that's important that um, you know, we have guidelines to go by and I think it's hopefully going to facilitate the process. And one of the things, I don't know if um, any of the council want to chime in on this, but I thought was important uh, as we looked at a couple things like the size and one of the things we um, looked at was providing make sure there's enough si room um, in here with like 200 square feet for the vendors, which would accommodate um, larger motorized vehicles and additionally um, one other thing we looked at um, for the vending was locations trying to make sure that it wasn't going to encroach upon um, you know, restaurants like say Bridie Manor which are located on Linear Park or the River Walk and uh, we talked about how um, you know, maps going to be drawn up um, but we looked at it if I'm not mistaken Councilor Walker can jump in on this um, I just wanted to clarify we looked at places like Bridepeck Park Wright's Landing, um, looking at um, Port Ontario grounds near the public pool, um, near the veteran stage on Riverwalk, but um, trying to exclude it um, further up so it wasn't going to interfere with restaurants that may you know, um, cater to fishermen during the fishing season. And uh, I, hopefully we've done a good enough job on this that it's going to um, you know, allow vending to come here when, uh, that people are going to embrace it and enjoy it. It's really not going to hopefully hurt the local businesses um, that are serving. And the last thing I guess I wanted to mention was when we look at um, you know, how the vending is going to play out here, uh, one of the important things Attorney Reynolds had um, drawn to our attention at our meeting was the issue of um, the city 
doesn't want to open itself up to like you know uh, lawsuits on the grounds of discrimination. So to make sure everyone was under understood that you know the idea would be um, vendors would come in and be based on a lottery system. Um, so therefore, you know, nobody could say they're getting preference. One, one business is getting preference over another. And I think that was a big concern, making sure this city isn't going to be opening up to lawsuits. Are, um, anyone else want to speak on that? Or, um, Attorney Reynolds. But uh, that was the work we um, undertook this week when we met um, to try to hammer this out and get it ready uh, to propose tonight. Hey, look, Councilor Walker. Thank you. John put a lot of it in a nutshell right there. We just want to open it up to get the vendors back in town, keep the people down the marina, keep them active in our community, staying down in our local areas, you know, parks and things like that. Because if you go down the marina, for, for instance, one of the best ones that I think is a good spot for one, if you go down there, there's really nothing to eat until you get four or five blocks away and everybody's got to walk there. And absolutely, a lot of people don't like walking. So, but, I mean, just keep it open, keep our people down there, and utilize our facilities we got more. I think Mr. Reynolds did a great job on it, helping us out, and hopefully this goes through. Thank you. Councilor Van Buren. Thanks. Uh, I actually just wanted to propose a small amendment. <clears throat> uh, it's section N-181-10, uh, uh, second to last page, first line. Uh, I just want to propose amending, amending that to read, uh, it's regarding the maps and prepared by the engineering department with advice of the police chief, the fire chief, and the commissioner of Department of Public Works. Sorry, uh, it's section N of 181.10, it's the top of the second to last page. For those of you playing at home. <clears throat> get a second to the amendment. So it goes, I think. Please call the roll to amend. Yes, 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 to amend. Yes. Yes. Any other comments before we call the resolution as amended? Seeing none, will clerk please call resolution 82. Yes. 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 Clerk, please call resolution 83. Councillor McLaughlin, Councillor Van Beer. Any comments? Or please call the roll. Councillor Van Beer. Yes. Councillor Gordino. Yes. Councillor Van. Yes. Councillor Yes. 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 Or please call resolution 84. Councillor McLaughlin, Councillor Walker. Any comments? Or please call the roll. Yes. 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 Clerk, please call resolution number 85. Councillor Corradino, Councillor Emmons. Um, we're in 2016, we added two new customers to the wastewater facilities, one being Champlain Valley trucking in their waste to our facility, the other being the county uh, where we exchanged our, our leachate uh, for theirs essentially. So they're bringing, uh, if I remember correctly, like six to eight trucks a day uh, into our facilities. And with all of that truck traffic, 
it needs to be more uh, organized and orderly uh, as they drop off their waste. So um, we're, we're doing this to help with that. Uh, more customers means more revenue, so that's a good thing. That means less money, hopefully, derived from our water and sewer fee uh, taxpayers. Any comments from the council? Seeing none, clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Clerk, please call resolution number 86. McLaughlin, Councillor Walker. Any comments? Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Clerk, please call resolution number 87. Councillor Gozik. Comments? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution number 88. Councillor Emmons. Any comments? Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 Clerk, please call resolution number 89. Councillor Emmons. Councillor Reynolds. Any comments? Mm -hmm. Councillor Cordino. I, uh, I had a chance to review this. This was emailed to us earlier today. And I did have a chance to review this. And I know this is uh, going through fairly fast. But uh, I think uh, from what I see uh, and uh, based on uh, some of the work that I did uh, with the PTAB uh, group, I think this is a, a very good document to get us uh, very close to being uh, where we should be. Uh, there might be some issues with fees later on down uh, the road, but I think uh, I'm going to support this. I am definitely going to support this, and I, I encourage everybody else to as well. Councillor Emmons? Um, first of all, I'd just like to thank uh, Director Redrick uh, and his team. I think uh, Kevin Hill's here as well. Uh, the Special Events Committee for, I think, putting together a very solid uh, document. Uh, I think that um, as a council, we have asked for a policy and procedure to be put in place uh, that would, I think, not only help us, but actually more importantly help those that are seeking to do special events within the city to understand our policies and protocols and have, really have a central point in which for those uh, requests to flow through uh, and have a centralized process for those uh, requests then to eventually filter to the Common Council as they need to. So I appreciate all the hard work that's been put in uh, to this document. I think Councilor Cordino touched upon it, upon it that uh, I don't think it's a perfect document, but I think it gets us a lot farther than we have been. Um, I think that with any policy and procedure, even local laws that we might eventually pass, I think as we have experiences and as that committee has experiences, there may be things that need to be changed, and I think that's okay. <coughs> because as we learn and grow, so should this document learn uh, and grow. Um, I do expect us to have some conversations at some point, whether it's uh, uh, soon or whether it's part of the budget process for 2018 to talk about fees. I know Councilor Van Buren has some suggestions for uh, changing some of the fees and I welcome those conversations and I think they're important uh, to have. But as we get an approach uh, the summertime and begin to have a request, I think it's important for that special events committee to have a policy that's been reviewed 
uh, and improved by the council so they can move forward uh, in understanding what their role is and we can move forward as a council having the confidence that as the, as the requests would come before the council, they've been reviewed, they've been vetted, and given a you know, conditional approval by a set of folks um, uh, that, uh, that all the T's and all the uh, have been crossed and all the I's have been dotted. So we have very clean um, uh, requests coming before us. You? Any other comments? I'd just like to thank uh, Justin Rudgick and the events committee that worked to put this together. Obviously, the point is to eliminate some confusion and inconsistencies. Uh, and also thank Councilors Cordino, Emmons, uh, for investing some time in developing this, and Councilor uh, Van Buren for uh, taking charge at the end and making sure we come up with a solid document. So with that, seeing no other comments, clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 I have a motion to adjourn. Councillor Van Buren, Councillor Emmons. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Meeting is adjourned. I thank that.